State Senator Terry Bonoff coming to you from the Capitol. This has been a very busy week at the Capitol. Last night was a real high point where we as a joint legislative body elected our regents. I had spoken to you earlier about the tremendous challenge that our joint committee had, our House Senate committee, in choosing our candidates. But actually, to my surprise, last night in the joint legislative session, we ended up electing those that our joint committee put forward without too much trouble. And I will again say that we were so thankful for the tremendous candidate talent that we had before us. So you can read more about who was selected in the update. You know, uh, I've had a lot of bills up this week. It's, uh, it's been a challenge, but it's also been rewarding as we put forward bills that really are quite important to our community. For example, today I had a bill up in education, and you may be seeing this um, the day after, but nonetheless, it's the Location Equity Index, which says that if you're a district in the metro area, it's more expensive for you to run your district than in the outstate areas. And so what that means is you actually have less available to be in the classroom or to, to provide um, what we need for our teachers. And so this bill simply adds one complex piece to the a very complex formula. And there was a lot of concern expressed around the table as well as a lot of support. But I often come away from those discussions thinking, wouldn't it be easier to just say going forward that we don't have such complexity in the formula that rather we say if you give a dollar to Hopkins, it's the same dollar that goes to Minneapolis or to St. Paul? I don't know. I think that a simpler education funding formula would be nice. I also just wanted to mention again the health care exchange because that bill is on the Senate floor again today. And I have some reservations about the way it is moving through the Senate. The House has made some changes that I do support in terms of making it a more level playing field for our carrier community to be able to participate with an equal voice in this process and um, in terms of making sure the costs are in keeping with the overall um, uh, cost effectiveness measures that I'm looking for. And so while I may not support the version that comes out of the Senate, I do believe that the Minnesota exchange is the right direction and that I'm hoping that by the end of this process, I'll support the final thing. But I want you to know, those of you who are strong supporters of the exchange, that I am working on that because I too believe that it is important. But yet this process um, needs to have all voices at the table, and so I will express some of the concerns I have um, in this part of the process. I had great response from the survey last week. I was really, really pleasantly surprised how many of you were in favor of expanding the base of the sales tax and lowering the rate. I thought more people would say, no changes, I don't want you to do that. But that really wasn't the case. It was, you know, still those who didn't want any changes were ahead, but not by that much. So take a look at the topic rewind. That's it for now. Again, I hope you'll read the update so you get the rest of the news.